Hello Cancer, welcome in. This is a reading for chosen ones, light workers, initiated beings. You'll know who you are if you stumble across this reading. People who've taken a different spiritual path, okay? I'm gonna look into energies, any messages that the guides or the higher beings wanna impress upon you today. I'm gonna look into that. Then I'm gonna look into your loot energies, things you might be manifesting, things you might not expect. Then the love energies, then we're gonna follow up with Oracle decks, okay? So please hit that subscribe button, like the video, help me get these uh, messages out to as many of our team as we possibly can, as we are all on the same team, trying to uplift and evolve this realm, mindset by mindset, all right? All reality happens in the mind. Okay. Spirit guides, higher self, give me messages, give me messages for cancer, please. Okay, we've got the Four of Pentacles. Messages for Cancer, please. Messages. Messages for Cancer. Okay, we've got the Nine of Swords. We've got the Seven of Wands. And we've got the Page of Cups. Alright, so it looks like you're dealing with something here that's been quite stressful for you you've had to put your defenses up there is something you're holding on to here a past situation that's caused you a lot of stress i feel like you're waiting for an apology or you're waiting for some sort of movement from the other party let's see i feel like your spirit guides want you to to not take the bait all right i feel like they don't want you to pull your guard down Okay, because I feel like this will be a never-ending story if you do. So someone's going to come in, they're going to seem quite sweet, they're going to seem quite graceful, they're going to seem as if they've learnt their lesson or they've seen the light. But I feel like your spirit guides want you to hold your position, all right, and they want you to uh, keep yourself protected at this time. Knight of Swords, yeah, definitely incoming communication here. One more card of advice for cancer, please, one more. Yeah, Seven of Swords, yeah, correlating with what I'm saying. Someone's going to put a lovely, glossy, lovely front on, but it's a sneakery. It's it's some sort of trick or ploy, okay? The advice is also for you to sneak out of this situation as gracefully as you can to close off the storyline, to let it lie, all right, and hold your position here, and, and don't fall for any glossy or... Um, don't fall for the front is what I'm getting here. Don't fall for the surface act. Okay, Cancer. I'm going to clarify one more row, please. Show me the four of pentacles. Okay, we've got the ace of pentacles. All right, so you've got a way better path, a way better timeline you could be operating on here with the ace showing up. And the advice is to take that path. This is a gift from the universe, all right? This is you forging in your mindset a whole new way of life, something much more stable, much more rewarding. Take this gift, okay? Take that glimmer of hope. Take what feels best to you, all right? This person's going to try and make it feel like this is a good offer that feels good to you. But don't fall for that lower self that's going to feel so good when this person apologizes or whatever, okay, because I feel like it's trickery, I feel like uh, it's uh, it's a trap, it's to lure you into an old timeline, something you've already stressed out about, something you've already suffered for, okay, but you've got a much better path coming in for you, should you choose to take it, and I feel like you will choose to take it, I feel like you know what you deserve really, okay, you need to operate from your higher self at all times, okay, think to yourself, what would my higher self do, what does my higher self think about this situation, and don't accept anything that your higher self wouldn't expect, okay, we're talking high standards here, all right, but I know cancer can be a very sensitive sign, very, um, very attuned to other people's emotions, okay? And we've got the Queen of Cups, which is Cancer energy, all right? Very receptive, very intuitive, very feeling, okay? But I feel like you haven't always had that appreciated. Or your feelings can cause you some turmoil sometimes. I feel like you care so much about people and then you have to defend yourself against them. All right, so this is a new path, this Ace of Pentacles. Spirit's advising you 
to steer clear of anything that's been nightmarish in the past. All right, try not to communicate with these people. Try and render them irrelevant. If you've already given them chance after chance and they keep showing you that, uh, you know, the result will always be the same, then you need to make an executive decision and know that you can create a much better pathway here. We've got the Ace of Swords, so you've definitely seen the truth about something. You're very clear on that. And I feel like this is something you're defending yourself against. This person's going to try and act like you haven't seen the truth, that it was all a big misunderstanding. Oh, we're good friends, we've been friends, or whatever the situation may be. All right, they're going to try and come in with uh, a lot of uh, flowery surface behavior. But you already know the truth, Cancer, okay? Your intuition's really good with the Queen of Cups showing up. Cardinal Cancer energy, that's you. So trust your psychic intuition. Even if it really hurts, we've got the Nine of Swords here. Sometimes it's so hard for us to want to trust our psychic intuition because it hurts so much, right? When we get information that feels so horrible, but you've got to stick to your guns here, all right? Stand strong in your truth. Hold your positioning and get onto this beautiful new pathway. Tell me about this Page of Cups. Hierophant energy. Hmm. This could be someone who tries to act like they're spiritual. This could be someone who does things by the book, okay? So they could be a textbook narcissist. They could be someone who glosses over who they are with that spiritual spiritual facade, okay? And it's, it's so common nowadays for people to do that. There are so many narcissists, uh, people playing on the opposing team, people trying to confuse people, pull them off of their sovereign path, pull them off of their higher timelines, all under the guise of being spiritual. That's the uh, energy that's coming through here. Show me the Knight of Swords. Death. Yeah. Keep this person at a distance, all right? Even if you want to help them, sometimes you've got to let people hit rock bottom. They've got to feel alone uh, to change. That's if there's any chance for them to change. If they're working for the negative polarity, if they're working to oppose our happiness, etc., etc., they won't change even when you let them hit rock bottom, okay? But the only chance you've got of ever knowing if they're capable of changing or not is to let them go without your energy, go without your friendship, to let them know how it feels without you. And then the way they behave is very interesting because they can go one of two ways. They can either learn from it and learn to appreciate you or you'll see their true colors and they'll become even more vitriolic. They'll become even more poisonous and they will show their hand, Cancer, all right? Then you see the real truth because you alchemized it up by not playing their game, by not doing what they wanted you to do. Four of Wands here. Yeah, you've got a much better view of life once this person's gone out of your life, okay? Your life is gonna transform. You're gonna go up a timeline. You're gonna go up in frequency. You're gonna rise up by sticking to this truth, by sticking to what you know you deserve, by trusting your intuition, trusting that your guides are giving you correct information, all right? Don't let them gaslight you, don't let them confuse you. You've got a much better, comfortable, beautiful energy coming in, or that you're, you know, you're gonna be moving into. You might have to be a bit sneaky here as well, okay? You might have to be a bit, <laughs> underhand don't tell them everything you're thinking don't don't let them know what you think they're not entitled to your information you don't owe them anything you owe yourself this beautiful life that's coming in okay the four of wands is all about being comforted being happy having a life worth celebrating around people that want to celebrate it with you okay it's essentially seen as the marriage card it's it's a firm stable four cornered spiritual situation now i know in the 3d they've given marriage such a bad name okay because if it's done in a 3d way it's really almost like an anti-marriage but essentially this is about you celebrating your life finding things worth celebrating having a life worth celebrating and we've got the ace of wands on the bottom of the deck so definitely new 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 cancer okay think in terms of newness think in terms of standing in your truth what you want to manifest while you're looking back at the past you're not alchemizing forward so you need to look forward, alchemize your reality, cut people off. Don't let your tender Cancerian heart be too sympathetic with people or put them ahead of you because you've got a big heart. You've got to use that heart in the right way, all right? You've got to use your emotions in the right way. 
you've got to love yourself first you can't give from an empty cup all right you've got to get that cup refilled that's the vibe i'm getting here okay let's look into your manifestations what does cancer need to know about their manifestations okay four of cups yeah i feel like this person's trying to make you miss out on your manifestation so it's a quite a stark warning i'm getting through here four of pentacles again all right i feel like there's something you've been sitting on that you need to move forward with but this situation uh with this page of cups person friendship whatever it's holding you back it's stopping you garnering energy that you could be projecting forward and alchemizing forward with all right if it's taking over your mind space that means it's literally anything that takes over our mind owns us okay now that could be government it could be a friendship it could be whatever you need your independent alchemical space if you are to create your own reality be a sovereign being and really be who you always plan to be we need to find our own self first we need to be able to be alone we need to be able to be in our own power and a lot of times friendships will distract us from this because they're so convinced that you somehow owe them some sort of codependent crutch to lean on but they need to learn to stand on their own two feet okay there's a lot of conditioning there's a lot of uh a lot of mindset psychological warfare that we've got to avoid in this round and i feel like there's something that you've been waiting to make a move on okay it's like it's being held for you it's being held in non-physical it's still in your vortex but you need to move the energy in a new direction. Focus on your truth. Focus on who you know you are. Brilliant. Underneath the Ace of Swords, we've got the star. Okay, so I feel like you're manifesting more of who you truly are. You're downloading more of your higher self. Okay, this will come with gifts. This will come with knowledge. This will come with a feeling of being uplifted, of being radiant. You may need to heal yourself a little bit, which simply means raise your vibration back up to who you truly are. All right, but while you're still holding on to situations of the past it's sort of got you locked into that storyline so i feel like there's a real need to let go here and to loosen up don't take these people too seriously okay if you can find the humor if you can laugh at them it's all the better because you've got some real good beautiful radiant energies that want to access you that want to work through you that want to become part of you all right and standing in this truth of yours whatever that might be is going to activate these beautiful powers they're telling me powers okay more psychic powers more gifts more revelations more epiphanies more things are going to make you realize wow this is a beautiful world and i'm a beautiful person i'm creating a beautiful reality strength yeah you gotta stand strong cancer you've probably got some leo in your chart as well okay so this may be calling for you to activate that Leo strength and I feel like this is coming up for you I feel like you're really going to realize your value here you're really going to start seeing yourself clearly as the amazing being that you are how powerful you are how inspired you are I feel like you're going to get your inspiration back in and I feel like it's been missing for a little while but it is coming in it is coming in just stand in that truth and you'll be absolutely fine you may even have a showdown with this person where you're like you know what I know what you are I know who you are and you're going to let them know that you are fearless, you are courageous, and that you're not falling for their crap anymore. Okay, we've got the Seven of Wands again, as we had up here. Yeah, right there. So definitely, definitely a need to defend yourself from this person. Hold your ground, hold your positioning, and you are going to go up in frequency fairly quickly once you do this. What else for Cancer? Oftentimes when people see strength in us, they'll try and convince us that it's weakness. All right. Eight of Swords here. Yeah, again, that sense of having to release yourself from situations that make you feel anxious. Give me one more, please, Spirit. What's this Eight of Swords? The Sun. Okay. So this sort of reminds me of, of something that's been in your mind for so long that it feels like it's meant to be there. But I feel like once you realize, you know, this doesn't have to be in my mind. All I've got to do is refocus in different directions. Focus on all the beautiful things that do make me happy. Know that you are enough without anyone's support. You are still enough. You have the support of the whole entire non-physical realm. And I feel like that's your key to freedom from this mindset that may have made you feel really stuck. 
anxious, second guessing yourself. I feel like that's this this reading is a sign that that needs to stop now. That you need to focus on what makes you happy because that's what we all came here to do. Joy is our natural state and anything less than that, we're always going to strive for more. All right. So I feel a sense of you feeling like you're a one woman or a one man army here. And that's fine. You can be that. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't let society convince you that you need to hang around with whoever's available. Otherwise people will think, oh, I haven't got friends or whatever. You don't need to run with the crowd. All right. You can be a lone wolf and be far more powerful. And then other powerful people can join you. But while you're still holding on to deceptive beings, people who you've seen the truth about, who you've intuited the truth about, let them go. What they think of themselves and what they think of you is none of your business. You don't have to see them the way they try and project themselves to be, okay? But definitely happiness coming. Once you can break out this mindset or this situation, you've got a lot more abundance. Again, four of wands and the sun and the star and the strength. This is about you really being radiant. You getting your vibration up so you can be the radiant being you were always meant to be. Flow out that gorgeous source energy. Flow out the energy of the universe. Because oftentimes these are just distractions for us to get hypnotized by. Remember, all life happens in the mind. Everything is mind. All is mind, okay? But I feel like you're going to reclaim your mind. I feel like you're being really tough and you're going to reclaim your mind and you're actually going to get up to a new level you've never been on before. You're going to appreciate yourself so much more than you have. You're going to see yourself. You see this eye here? You're going to see yourself in a much more divine way, in a much more infinite way. You're going to see the funny side as well, Cancer, I feel. And you're going to realize this is a big cosmic play, a big cosmic theater. And you get to choose the role you're, you're playing. You get to choose who you are. You get to download more of your higher self and really make the most of the time we've got. Really make the most of the time you've got in this role, in this lifetime. And as much as I say role, we genuinely are what we are when we're operating from our higher selves. Just because we're playing in a cosmic theater doesn't mean we are not what we are at a higher self level. And I feel like there's really a need for you to meditate and download, download more of the essence of you, okay? This is you really knowing yourself, really downloading the essence of you, really reconnecting with who you truly are, okay? There's a sense of your inner child being happy here also. Being playful, seeing the funny side, not taking these energies too seriously, okay? Because that's what they want. They want to take over your mind. They want to distract you. And you've got a lot more power than you may feel. Yeah, I feel like Spirit's also watching over this situation, okay? Which is kind of obvious, kind of goes without saying. But I feel like you've got divine support in this. I feel like the divine wants you to access your joy, access your power, and access these gifts, okay? I feel like there's something waiting for you. You've just got to line up your frequency at a much higher level to access it, to download it, to grab it. All right? So let's look at love. Love for cancer, please. What does cancer need to know? Okay, we've got the Eight of Wands. Beautiful. This can be seen as a falling in love card. Obviously, it's about communications coming in quite quickly. Passion, fire. Again, the Eight of Wands is about following your calling. So I feel like once you break through to the sunshine level here, new people come in, new energies, bright, communicative, upfront, okay? And you're gonna have a quicker movement, quick movement of energy once you break through. Okay, Page of Wands. So you could be quite fascinated with this person. They could be fascinated with you. But again, there's a sense of playfulness, okay? There's a sense of um, <laughs> your inner child being you know, very free, very radiant, very curious, and just a lovely sense of innocence I'm getting through from this. We've got the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so they're telling me that this is like people who see you as an investment, people who see your quality, people who see your value, people who know that having you on board is, is, a, is a gift, it's a, it's a blessing. And then we've got the death card here. So you could you could stumble across a relationship or magnetize into a relationship that's going to be very transformative to you. I feel like when you do find, find these people or this person, 
it's going to be transformative to you because they really see your value and they see you more clearly than other people have seen you before, all right? They know who you are instinctively at a soul level, all right? And this is going to really make you feel transformed, all right? Like you're in a whole new world. King of Cups. So the King of Cups is all about stable emotions. Sometimes people read the King of Cups as uh, falling in love yet again. We've got the Nine of Wands here again. All right, so someone may make you feel like you are worthy of being protected. They may really lavish you with love or help you balance out your emotions. There's something very transformative here. So I feel like the next love that you come across will be very powerful. It'll make you... It will make your soul come up to the next level in your evolution, all right? And I feel like you're going to be very protective of each other. You're going to really enhance each other's transformative uh, strength here. You're going to really enjoy seeing each other being the best you can be. And it's going to make you feel a lot of affection for this person, the fact that they do see your value and they do see you clearly here. I feel like you're, the protection element's very strong, coming through very strongly here. New frontiers, I'm hearing. New frontiers, you're going to feel far more powerful than you felt before. Scorpio energy. And these are going to be people that I feel like you would you would die for, you know. You would be there for, till the bitter end, you know. So, you know, I've got a lot of Scorpio in my chart. And the way we sort of measure relationships is, would you, would you be there for me in a zombie apocalypse? Would you come and get me? Would you wade through a city of zombies? to save me and if not to me it's an irrelevant connection <laughs> unless someone's got that ride or die quality to them I really I can't it's just not in my nature to see it as a real genuine love personally I am quite extreme though <laughs> you know I am a bit creed level like that but I feel like this person is going to bring that out in you all right they're the sort of person you would go to the ends of the earth for and vice versa Beautiful energy, beautiful. Right, I'm gonna look at these compass cards, see what comes out, all right? So we can have messages for cancer, please. Messages for cancer. And one at a time, please. One at a time, please, spirit. Okay, vibrational currency. All right, so again, this is about you focusing in new ways to bring in much more reward than you've previously been getting, all right? And you've already got the key. You've already had some sort of insight into which way you should flow your vibrational currency. Now, it may be a thought that you haven't focused as much as you should have on that thought, right? Let me rephrase this. When we're in the habit of being around certain people in certain places and in feeling a certain way, sometimes that little glimmer of hope or you know, the things that make us happy get pushed to the side, actually. There's some part of us that feels like we don't deserve that. It could be from childhood. It could be from previous situations. But Spirit wants you to focus on this truth you've had, something that makes you feel uplifted and powerful. Now, you may have only thought about this thing once before, but they want you to really muse and reflect on what is it, that little glimmer, that little thought or idea you had that made you feel hopeful and passionate and inspired they want you to flow your vibrational currency in that direction okay so this may be out of your comfort zone it may be something that only sort of floated through your mind once or twice before yes okay it's a big yes all right big yes on some idea you've had big yes with you protecting yourself getting yourself to your highest timeline okay spirit is so much in your corner with this what else spirit What else to cancer? Higher world. Brilliant. Couldn't make it up. Right, we've got the higher world here. So they really want you getting to this new world, to this higher world. And you deserve it, okay? They're telling me to tell you you deserve it. Often with Cancerians, you guys can be so tender in your heart, right? That I know how you, you know, process your emotions and stuff. It, it can be distracting for you, all that emotional energy. The spirit wants you to take the higher, more playful, light-hearted route to this higher world, to trust in those lovely, sparkly ideas you've had, to trust that you deserve loyal and beautiful people in your corner who are going to protect you, 
and love you who are worthy of your protection, worthy of your love. Go for the newness, go for the, the road less traveled, get out of your comfort zone here. And you don't need anyone to see your magic. As long as you see it, that's what matters, all right? For now, you just need to get in touch with your inner magic um, and really, really harness your focus, okay? Pull your focus back into you and then decide from an alchemical viewpoint how you wanna create your reality, okay? We are in a human body, but that doesn't mean we have to let the human in us take over because we're so much more than that. We are, um, we are source awareness in a human form. So for initiated ones, what do I mean by that? I mean people who know they are so much more than this human vehicle that we find ourselves in. People who don't let the human or what you could call the animal part of the vehicle rule over the soul. So you want the soul ruling, okay, your human experience, okay, and that's the goal. To get your mindset up, higher vibrational, to see things through the eyes of source, which means knowing you're much more than this human incarnation. And that's when you really access the good stuff. That's when you really start to feel invigorated and enthused with beautiful source energy. Then you realize you're infinite. Then you realize it's a beautiful game and you get to these more beautiful places in your mind because it's all experienced in the mind, right? More for cancer, please, more for cancer. Okay, we've got Libra energy coming out. Balance, harmony, Venusian energy. Hmm, Libra Mars, interesting. This is almost like letting me know that sometimes the best way to fight is to be graceful and harmonious. It really confuses people. I've actually got my Libra in Mars, so it's funny that this is showing up. Now, when we go to war, we don't do it in a conventional way. So someone who's got Aries in Mars, they're gonna be pretty headstrong and they're just gonna be like, right, I'm gonna fight you and that's it. But the Libra in Mars is totally different because Libra doesn't like conflict. Libra likes harmony. So it's funny, being a Libra and you can see through the eyes of your enemy um, and you can sort of, sort of become them almost and it's an empathy thing. You can sort of become them and empathize with them on such levels that it confuses them and it sort of wins the war. All right, because they're not expecting that in the bloody slightest. So I'm really feeling a sense of you relaxing, okay, relaxing into the, the, the human condition, all right, and accepting that chaos, especially if you are working for spirit, okay, you are on one team, they're on the opposing team, and to have empathy for that and to know, well, they're just doing their job. Okay, you don't have to take it personal when they come for you or when they try and sabotage you. And I know Cancerians can be so sensitive and it can really hurt your beautiful hearts. But this is a lesson to not take them personal and to realize that they're another portion of source in a completely different format. And they're just doing their job. Don't take it personal, Cancer. They're just doing what they're programmed to do. All right. And that can give you supreme power in any conflict you deal with and the ability to harmonize through the conflict by sort of imagining yourself almost as being who they are and thinking, well, if I was on that team, if I was on the, the opposing team, what would I do? I'd be exactly the same and I'd go for the strongest warriors. I'd go for the people with the biggest hearts and try and debilitate them so they stop flowing that radiant essence out all over, you know, all throughout our reality. And that's the goal, to stop us ascending via a ripple effect, all right? So one in alignment, one person who's in alignment with their higher self is worth a million who are not. Uranus, yeah, yeah. This is like doing things differently, thinking outside the box, being wacky, being crazy, not doing the thing they expect you to do, which is fight back. Or again, with this situation, you're not gonna, I don't advise you giving them the answer they expect so that if they come to you with a glossy apology, they're gonna expect that apology to induce or incite a reaction in you. Now Spirit's saying, make your reactions unpredictable, okay? Pattern disturbing. What is it where you interrupt the, pas the pattern? Pattern interruption. Sorry, I get my words wrong sometimes. I've had so much PTSD from so many psychic attacks since I was at such a small age. Uh, such a young age, born into a family of narcissists. So yeah, sometimes my voice goes a little bit, you know. 
Right, Uranus. Yeah, be unusual. Don't be afraid to uh, do things that people don't expect you to do here, okay? Because it's all a big game anyway. You don't have to read from their script. That's the vibe I'm getting here. Show me this last row. Okay, animal self. Okay. So this is about you embracing the animal in you, but not letting it rule you or control you. All right, so our lower animal self, that's the side of us that feels like we really need a pack. Okay, we're pack animals as human beings, but our higher self, our oversoul, knows that we're infinite and it doesn't buy into those things in quite the same way. But I feel like here you are going to find someone or a group of people who really love you. They're very comforting to that lower animal in you. All right, and you can trust them in the sense that they won't do anything to hurt you, they won't wound that lower animal portion of you. Okay, so this is about being part of a pack, I feel. A pack of similar beings all right so I, I use the example of you know the teenage mutant ninja turtles need to be around other teenage mutant ninja turtles and that's the vibe I'm getting here you finding like-minded individuals who you can be in a pack with but from a much higher vibrational point of your being okay this could also be a sign for you to find out what your animal spirit guide is and if you know what it is whack it in the comment box I'd love to know my animal spirit guide is a wolf um, and uh, we're not afraid to run alone as it were but yeah I feel like you're gonna find comfort here I feel like you're gonna find a pack you can run with right okay we've got Sagittarius so that energy may be important in this connection I'm feeling a lot of adventure here I'm feeling like you're hitting a target that's meant a lot to you for a long time people you can rely on people who are loyal de devoted spirit just told me devout okay so some sort of way of mind that you know you're all on the same frequency with it's like being on the same tv station okay and we've got the 12th house here so that's all about psychology in terms of you know your subconscious mind it can be about you being in the house, protecting yourself, some sort of confinement. Now, I only said because we've got the Nine of Wands here as well. Let's see what else. Give me one more. Solar Chakra. Okay, okay. And we've got higher truth on the bottom of the deck. So this may be a sign that you really need to meditate and really focus on your solar plexus, okay? The point right at the... Right at the... Uh, right at the bottom of your rib cage, I would say right in the middle, underneath that chest bit, okay, you need to focus on your solar plexus, because when you're dealing with humans, your magnetic field is mixing in with theirs, now when you're dealing with negative polarity individuals, they suck the energy from your solar plexus, now this is where the vampire mythology comes from, but instead of biting your neck and sucking your blood, the negative polarity individuals, they do it invisibly, all right, just being in the same room as them for too long, if your frequency drops, they start, they start pulling all the energy out of your solar plexus, okay? So you may need to be in isolation just to recharge that, all right? And get your emotions at the level they need to be at. Yeah, you've got a time for healing, all right? I feel like this is you healing your animal self, healing your inner child, healing the part of you that feels wounded, attacked also. As much as this is love coming in, you know, love energies I asked about, I feel like, you know, we always get dual messages with Tara. That's what makes it so precious and so amazing. And this could be people who help you with your healing, people who don't hinder your healing, people who help make you feel protected, like I say, and who are going to invigorate that solar plexus. They're going to give you more life force energy here. Show me more for cancer, please. Okay, balancing spirituality and practicality. Okay, but I feel like there's a real need for you to have more faith in who you are as a spiritual being. And know that being who you are as a spiritual being, it brings, it, it magnetizes certain energies in that you cannot take personally. But your higher self wanted them to come in onto your timeline to teach you something. It's almost like playing Mortal Kombat, you know? And without someone to fight against, well, there's no point in the game. And it, it is like that here on Earth. You know, we want to fight against other portions of ourselves to see which side of us will win. Will it be the lower self, the fearful self, or will it be the divine? All right, I'm getting real strong tingles when I say that. Okay, and we've got a win-win outcome is forecast. Again, I feel like this is to do with new people who are coming in. 
people who get you, all right? People who get you. But definitely, I, I feel like your inner child and your the, the lower animal part of you need to be acknowledged and healed, integrated, right? Brought up to a higher vibration. Have one more for cancer, please. Okay, we've got don't let pride get in your way. Let's see. I'm going to clarify that. Mm, interesting. Interesting. So there could be something here about you needing to ask for help from the higher beings. You needing to acknowledge that you're not alone. Acknowledge that, you know, you have that urge to be connected to others. And there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. So when a cancer goes into their shell, it can be hard to pull them out of it. And sometimes our best defense is to feel like I don't need anybody, you know, and we live in a dichotomous universe. So sometimes that's the best way for us to be at that particular stage in our life. But at other times in our life, we need to really open ourselves up to higher forces. Okay. I feel like this is about you following your intuition here and um, acknowledging that you do have guides. You do have divine aid. And maybe it's about admitting you do need healing, you know for one of you out there. I'm gonna pull from the sacred traveler here. What does cancer need? Oh, that wanted to come out, my God. Expect the wondrous to emerge, okay? Miracles, lovely, I love that energy. So, again, this is about not letting past situations put you into too much of your shell cancer, okay? <laughs> Acknowledging it from a higher viewpoint which is, you know, you're, you're not being picked on specifically um, and that these things happen to everybody and that you do have beautiful divine energy to pull on, to ask for help from. And there's so many energies out there wanting to merge with you, wanting, wanting to give you help, wanting to support you, wanting to send you love. You've just got to connect with it in your mind. All right. I hope this has helped cancer hit that sub button like the video and hopefully i'll see you again lots of love